what is this and what is going on? What are we doing today? Bumpy car. Damn, Bumpy's car is back. That is right, guys. We're back. Got another video for you. Last video was the oil change, obviously. Uh, we're gonna do maintenance on it. Yes, I know. We're gonna unbox the box right now. So, yeah, we gotta keep up with the maintenance, obviously. When you own an Evo, a lot of my Evo owners do know that the maintenance is the most important thing about it. Uh, for example, the transfer case and the diff fluid, that is the next thing that's gonna be uploaded onto my channel but today we will be we are going to be unboxing some headlights and i've looked everywhere ebay is all out uh shout out to redline 360 though they, they were able to find me some um, I'm assuming they have a lot more suppliers. So I'm gonna try to do this in one hour while I have my kids next to me. And within that one hour, I'm gonna see if we are able to complete the headlight install. So let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. Excuse me, woman. I failed miserably. What did you say? Are you black? Are you pink? Are you black? Are you black? Yeah. <laughs> so obviously these are spec D tuning for 2008 to really 2021. Um, any Lancer, Evo, or Rally Art. So, as you can see, they are plug and play, which is beautiful. I've had headlights before where you had to do your own wiring. Um, I'll drop a picture of that below. Actually, excuse me, little one. I am talking. In the future, if you could not interrupt me, that would be way better. Luckily, I'm assuming now they've upgraded and made this actual plug and play. So these are our headlights and the ones that I got are the ones that I used to have, but I ordered them smoked and they seem to not be anywhere. So shout out to Redline360 again, cause they really came clutch on this. Nobody had them available and they look really good, man. Wow, this is awesome. They actually tell you what things you need uh quarter inch drive ratchet six inch extension 10 millimeter socket phillips screwdriver a trim pad remover let's see wire stripper you don't need all that if your headlight is a halo type yes the halo type you will need all this but only this is necessary for this one the cool thing is they show you all three of them right here that's the straight up chrome one. That's the black out housing. And then obviously the one that we have. So let's see if all you really need is a 10 mil socket and an extension or not. I'm gonna see if I could do it with just this. And who knows? This is called a ratchet. A ratchet. And this is in here in the tip, it's called a socket. Can you say socket? yeah there you go good job so clearly we have our 10 mil down here we got another 10 mil there 10 mil there and a 10 mil on the inside 10 mils all around 10 mils all around 10 mil down there 10 mil up there literally all 10 mils and then i'm not sure if i remember correctly yes there is a 10 mil there and a 10 mil in there in your front grill and just like that i got it off um really all you need is that much clearance not a whole lot more just be careful with your metal so that you don't scratch your headlight and make sure you disconnect both um uh, turn signal i'm assuming and power to your headlight so that you don't break that wiring and just a comparison this is what we're looking at here nice and light coat yeah. 
Yep, and this is gonna be a darker coat right here. Yeah, he's a darker than you. Yep, yep, Captain Obvious over here. Yeah. All right, so that's what we're looking at right now. Nice and dark yeah, and glossy. Yeah. And as you can see here, this is the only problem. Yeah, that right here is more space than the actual OEM one. The OEM one is nice and tight. But as long as you align it and then tighten it down right there, you should be fine. So turn signals clearly work and they're pretty bright. That's your bottom line. LEDs are in. Turn off the car before we fumigate ourselves. But let's see if it runs. There we go. Runs. Running lights are going to be the second option, and that doesn't look bad at all. The fog lights are currently yellow, but we're going to switch them out to that matching blue kind of. If not, we'll go full white. And that is what we're looking like. Nice and dark. That really adds the aggressiveness all around. But once we switch out the wheel color, put in our lip, it'll add a whole lot of aggressiveness. We still got a banner to put on. We still got a roof wrap to put on. And we might even do the carbon fiber hood. So let's see uh, how it looks when it's on. Nice little aggressiveness with the dark housing. Man, it even looks aggressive just staring at it with the lights on. Definitely gonna need those white LEDs on the bottom. It's looking real good. We have our banner that is next. We have our windshield visors that are next. And we have one of the most important Evo 10 SST and even the Rally Art. Most important thing, which is STM tuned. Shout out to them. The relay for the gas, for the fuel pump, I believe that's what it is for. But yeah, important. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, share. Thank you for everybody supporting me. Uh, we're at 300 subscribers. And I think it's time to announce a giveaway. Bye. 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 No waiting. Say bye. Bye, Baba. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's mad.